Hey everybody, it's me, Wildman Beats here, and this is going to be episode 11 of Greedfall. We just finished up uh, that little conspiracy about, uh, what was his name, Jiro or Rejo, whoever was harassing the merchants, and we got rid of uh, most of his cronies, and it seems to be under control. So now we're going to move our sights onto those uh, documents that we need to get from the... Uh, the sailor people about our companion. I can't remember anybody's names. The Knots. Get the papers from the Knots for Vasco. There, I remember. Just took a second. But anyway, let's see where that goes. So thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoy. Otherwise, let's get into it. The barracks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ambush right after. Got him. There's not more, is there? Dang, the bandits all come out at night time. And they really like coming out at the entrance to the barracks. That I think that's what confuses me the most. Like, of all places that bandits are, you know, hanging out and up to no good. The barracks? What? Well, let's get down to the harbor. Come closer, good I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into more bandits, but maybe we won't. Oh, I see loot. Ah, lock picking. Never mind. Let's keep moving. Here we are. We have a good view from here. Really? The office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much oh. more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes. But since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. We put them I to see. sleep. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a yep. proven technique. And I can assure you they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dita. Okay. So we are we don't even have the other option is not even an option then. Did it Acquire sleeping pills. I have to make them. Uh, where? This our day residence. Have I actually even been there? How do I get there? Let's go there. It's right next to the governor's palace. I don't think I've ever been to my home. <laughs> hmm. Let's go check it out. So we go up towards the palace. Come closer, good people. And then we take a left. Is it this building right here? Is this my home? Oh! I've been here for days and I didn't even know where my home was. As a diplomat, an accommodation is available to you in the main cities of different nations. I'll find crafting tables, storage chests, and your companions. You can also rest from this place. Oh, hi, Siora. And I can travel from here. My stash is here. Workbench. I can make some potions, maybe. Sleeping pill. Sleeping potion. I don't have the science to do it, so I'll have to accumulate some more levels first. Now, what's upstairs? Just my bed. Oh, which I can sleep there to pass some time. Wow, this is nice. Wait, is that me on there? Oh, uh, before I got a haircut. <laughs> Wow, this is a nice little house. And I can 
sleep next to the fireplace if I wanted. <laughs> uh, but let's head back to Glendgenmont. That one. And let's go to the west road. Since we finished up at the mines, there's not much reason to go there. Actually, I think we have stuff to sell. Remember, I killed all these uh, bandits. They drop shit. Wait, is that better than... No. Not even close. Armor. Okay, yeah. We can sell some loot or worn tricorns. Oh, lots of old reinforced gloves. Wow, look at those. They have like metal. Silver bracelet, signet ring. All right. You may continue your journey level loaded. Oh, so it uses that as an area where you get to do things, but it's also loading the next area at the same time. Are these still dead? Okay. All right, let's head, uh... Oh. Harvest. Let's head this way this time. Having gone to the left. Interesting music. I would like to get to those runes at some point. I like it at night time. It's peaceful. Maybe dangerous too though. Got a campfire though. So what is down here? I don't see any beasts or anything. Can't really do anything with these though, but interesting. Oh, great flaming needle. Oh, and what's this? Skill altar, I got a skill point from that? Oh, no way. Dang, okay, that's really nice. Oh, oh, I was, see, I thought I had taken this last time, but no. What is this? Only works with divine magic rate. Allows the use of an instantaneous dash when quickly dodging. Lightning dash left left shit. Dude, this is sick. I just have to double tap dash. Bit of poison on my then let's go. Dang, I feel strong. The thing is, I don't even need to use the lightning dash. It's just if something does get close to me. Can it even catch me? I can just, it doesn't cost magic, so I can just evade for days. Oh, poor sod. We'll check up there in a sec, that wagon. Just wanna look around here. And is this a lock? No. Just some gear, though. 
Nothing crazy. Region of Hikmet. Am I on the edge of the map? Yeah. Oh. Wait. No, I'm going the way I'm supposed to. But what is this? How do I get down there? Or have I been there? Hmm. But let's just keep going up here. I don't need your caravan. Uh, this is really nice now that we're out in the, the open world. I like it here. And now we're unlocking this all, all this stuff, which there is a campfire this way. So we should go get that. Now is that up here or... Oh, wait. Maybe there isn't a campfire. Two travel spots. Hmm. Well, anyway, we... It's still worth... We, we can loop around here. Just see what's over there. It's probably not too big. I love just exploring. It'd be in, it, it'll be really interesting if there's like a bunch of different biomes also. Whoa, what's that big rock? Which I'm assuming there will be different biomes. Oh. These aren't our normal little bears. and I didn't want to use a potion, so I had to finish him off with the axe which is fine nothing wrong with the axe that's a travel spot oh, wait a sec oh, but then I have to travel travel, I was gonna say I could go through that so I unlock it, you know, as a fast travel spot or whatever but I don't want to go there come back you know that just takes a lot of time and whoa can i climb that level three bigger Jeez, yeah you have to be pretty strong can i climb this no but you could probably fall down it from the other way is that a... insane that that's actually so crazy good like i i can't believe it <laughs> you can just it's not balanced it's not balanced at all i mean that is it's just crazy Wait, what? Where am I? Oh. Huh? Dude, why is there so many wolves? There's more now. One, two, three, four, five over there. Where'd they come from? Well, let's go get them. I 
Oh, he almost got me. But you have passive uh, magic regeneration and it does stop that from occurring when you uh, do whatever you want to call that move storm burst or lightning dash whatever it was called but we got more wolves I is this is this how this is supposed to work am I like farming you know so to speak or is this like get a poison on my blade and let's go to my Well, they're dead. We get more loot. I'm assuming I get XP with that too. All right. I don't even care if there's more wolves back there. We're moving on. And yeah, these ones better be dead still. All right, there is a little something over here to the left. Let's check this out. Maybe I should be quick saving more often. What if we just stumble onto some kind of like open world boss? I, I don't know if there's that kind of thing in this game, but I don't know if it's worth risking it, you know? Oh, and this is that way down that I mentioned earlier. You know, you can slide down that dirt. So that is there. I guess if something's like really chasing you. You could always come up here and, and go down there if you need to get away and then it's stuck up here and can't chase, right? Uh, okay. Anything on the inner path? Didn't take this path. I guess they don't ever connect in there. See, this just like kind of screams some kind of mini boss arena. I don't know. Maybe at a later point in the game, there will be a quest that takes us here. I mean, it certainly looks like something. But I guess we won't be finding out right now. I've actually been considering switching over to uh, using controller to play this. It does feel like a controller game. Wait, let's just test it real quick. Oh, I feel so delayed on. Uh... Yeah, not going to do controller. I feel so delayed when I use controller. So slow. Ooh, skill alter. Let's go get it. Ah. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go.
What the? That is... Uh, dang. I'm so glad I bought a blue ring, too. I mean, that's got to be helping quite a bit here. Well, I'm not feeling at all scared about these uh, combat encounters. Obsidian Saber of the Serpent? Scout's Tunic? Just good stuff. But it said there was a skill altar. It's not possible just now. Destroy level one science and alchemical preparation of elemental damage. I'm thinking next level up or, you know, attribute or whatever. I'm going to be taking science. Oh, also. These birds. Our money. All right, do we go down here first or do we go door to Bedri? Ruins of dead Idri. Okay, that's probably for later. So we go up here. That's the village up there. Okay, we'll go to the village. Wait, this way? I'm so... I, I go in the right direction? I am. Okay. Okay. What's this here? Traveler's diary page. At the end of the woods, when I was taking the road north towards the heart of the mountain, I saw on the road to the left behind the bushes. A bridge which led to a chest. It makes you wonder who could have left a chest in such a place. Surely a not treasure. Night is falling. I'll go and look tomorrow. Route to the north towards the heart of the mountain. Up here? Dead deer. Can kill uh, these too. Oh, dude, I dodged that. Oh, dude, I'm so good. Too good for you. I like Kurt always yelling at me. Drink a potion. If you want to cast more spells, drink a potion. Drink a potion. Mm, nah. Okay, let's keep going. This way. Oh, what is this? A little dead end? Oh, here's the village. Pretty obvious too. want to talk greetings right they aren't gonna speak English why would they oh this is an ancient hello 
Yeah, that's not gonna work either. Oh, they've got loot for me. Oh, just leaving your meat out to rot? Interesting choice. All right, let's find the person I'm supposed to talk to here. There's a travel post. All right, and in here. Any other loot in here? Aha. Loot and then talk. Nice cornrows. Chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face. And it looks familiar. Gee, I thanks. didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, of my face tattoo. Yeah, they're big fans of those here, aren't they? Talk about the new merchant. I met a member of your clan in New Serene. A merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaik say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaik say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. That's where I'm going. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisagnameis. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island. Especially the kings of Hikmet, but I know we could learn many things from them and we could arrange a great deal I see I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago But I was told that the soldiers did not let him in He fears for his life because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaikse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. That's strange. You know how I said the voice acting is good? Maybe I'm just being a bigot, but... It seemed like whoever did the voice acting for that was going in and out of accent. Like, it was not, uh... Consistent. Oh, camp area. Oh. Hello. We missed a camp area. Let's make sure to go get that. Right up here? Oh. Right here. That's three out of four camps. Where's the fourth? One of these spots? There was uh, another building we can enter here. Uh, over this way. Ah, this. Let's see what's inside here. Is it just gonna be loot? This person didn't seem to want to talk, so... Yeah. Whatever. It's fine with me. And, uh... Let's see. 
What is in this direction? What is this? Maybe that's like they're domesticated animals. Either way, it's a dead end for us. So... Let's go see if we can get up to those ruins. There was that one path that we didn't take. Let's, uh, go there. Because it said there's four camps here. There has to be one more. Oh. Alright then. That works. Oh, there's an alchemical ingredient here. Alright, so that's the way to the skill thing. Which, oh! Good thing I remembered. We leveled up. Have a uh, skill point. Shadow impact, less cost. No impact can hit with greater distance. I want that storm causing a stasis for all enemies in combat for nine seconds. And attack cost furious. Oh, oh, it uses a fury point or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Bomb. Fury. All right, let's keep moving towards it. When do I get a new talent? I need that science. Uh, next point, level 9. I think I just hit level 8, so one more level. I guess that level 2 intuition wasn't worth. What's this plus sign? Oh, no, no, no. I know what they are, but what's the plus sign mean? Is that like recommendation? Maybe. But the thing is, by having a intuition being my highest, it's making everything else better because it increases um, number of ingredients I get and objects obtained through gathering and looting. So implicitly, I'm going to end up with the most stuff just because every time I loot, I get more. And over time, that will add up. All right. We're coming up on, uh, Bedry. We'll check that out next time. We'll, we'll end this episode here. Uh, and explore those ruins in the next one because I have a feeling they're gonna be pretty big and could take us a while. So uh, Thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed and as always have a great day